Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Our Guns. So today with the Reapers Challenge we have Malabog's Castle and it's at an item level requirement of 30,000. Now we shall actually see is it completable at that level. We do have a 40,000 healer in our group with a 46,000 DPS also, albeit the other two DPS can probably carry our asses. Anyway, this dungeon has the same mechanics as what you would see with the normal dungeon Malabox Castle. So I shall go over it with the mechanics that you will see in both the Reaper's Challenge and the standard dungeon. So let's jump in. So this dungeon was tied to old Sharandar and we can jump on our mount and just continue on. You can see underneath the minimap there we have to burn five siege towers to continue we can just pass this group of mobs here and make our way to the first siege tower here we can just go and press the barrel and explode it and that will destroy the tower as we see right there and so we just have four left this time we have to kill a group of mobs adjacent to this one i'm the tank so i'll make sure to keep up with them we do have uh, quite a lot of damage off these red caps we kill off those guys and we can blow up the second tower make our way to the third tower again we have another group of mobs we can blow up this tower anyway we do so grab the aggro before my allies die finish those off and we make our way to the next tower which is just here with a bunch of these fey trolls stun them with my artifact catch up with these enemies grab their attention we can see we have no consumables on this one no health regen outside of combat and also no mount combat powers a bit sad since those give us a lot of buffs and oh my god those guys deal a lot of damage standing in the middle of them wasn't the best idea there to keep them stunned and i can kill these off and get the final tower there blow up that tower and we just have to kill this crawl here and continue on activate the sword mount up and make our way through here we're gonna have a whole bunch of quick links so just watch out as they'll ambush you just up there they should jump on me now there we go stun them and not quick enough my oh my anyway dps get on top of them and they're all dead got my artifact power stun these guys use my daily as well lure them to me that is using that turban of shifting sands it's a pretty neat effect and that's them dead should be able to destroy this catapult finish it off and we just have to kill three catapults in total so that's the first one gone Another group of mobs here stun them first we can use our chain of scales to at least get that three percent awareness there get that from in Schultz campaign pretty neat proceed up these steps for the next bunch ideally i would have portable altars which i could use outside of combat here but regardless stun these guys before they absolutely kill me just want to watch out for these guys because they'll flank you and then absolutely annihilate you that's one of the catapults down we just have one more to go and we can face the first boss and we also should get a campfire then as well so we can go through that gate to this boss but we can also get a campfire just here reset those skulls now this boss will have a bunch of ads so make sure you got some aoe powers and taunts and so on crawl night forge shouldn't be too hard but we'll see engage him he does have some red caps behind him so aggro those as well he will spawn some more ads but only if he can survive that long. He spawned in some more adds and also a shaman there. And one of the DPS got slaughtered by them. Do their daily power again, suck them towards me. And we have their attention and we just have to kill them off. They're somewhat more challenging than the boss itself. And we can proceed on with the dungeon. We have to get through this doorway, go through this door next. We're gonna have a group of enemies here. I have my artifact power ready. Stun them, stun them again, aggro them. And then we can proceed on to this cyclops and this other cyclops shaman stun them we'll leave the quicklings as they are right now make sure i have my stun power ready use my hawk and stun them and they still slaughter me damn they do like 300k each dps really have to get on top of them more red caps here also stun them and wow i'll make sure i have my boon on revive sickness stun these guys then jump in and uh, stun them again let's pick this guy up this part you're just gonna have to continue away through these halls killing off the enemies and if you let them hit you all there at once even as a tank i'm getting wrecked each time i'm gonna need a campfire so i highly recommend getting some portable altars now we're gonna have some more quicklings stun them first stun them again taunt them hopefully the dps can kill them there we go and now we can go to malabog himself as we reach the throne room again we'll get another campfire so we can just reset those skulls and we have malabog himself skip the cutscene um, he has a bunch of ads with him as well so watch out stun those uh, taunt the boss 
Make sure we have aggro on him with our daily power. And he has phases. We can't damage him now, so we can just kill the adds. Summon this witch, which you want to kill off. Or she'll just polymorph people or, or even just kill them. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Jeez, they hurt. Taunt and keep running. <laughs> Stun those guys. Stun them again. These storyteller journals, definitely pretty handy. Here you do have a grace window, but yeah. Scroll, taunt, and daily power. Suck them towards me. You're gonna have a bunch of these stains which will spawn in they'll summon a bunch of skeletons if you don't kill them quick enough yeah there we go two crafted skeletons kill those guys and now we can continue through the doorway and here we can face the dragon himself however you don't have to actually kill him you just go and burn him down until he flies off they just deal enough damage and these vines should fall away and we should be able to continue now we just have to kill a bunch of enemies which are just down here let's go and stun them again let's grab the aggro of this red wizard don't need him fireballing our group like that damn i'll pick this guy up and we can continue on to the last boss and that's it it's fairly simple however those ads are dealing a ton of damage here i can switch to my single target build for the boss fight so we can have that tanner's leather ring with the manticore main bite here we go we're gonna have valindra we don't really have to fight her at all but we have this main dragon taunt is our daily power is our artifact for the buff move out of that because that will drain your action points not that i have any we should be using our binding oath instead of burning light for the extra stamina but again this boss doesn't seem to deal much more damage than before there we go we need to kill valindra when she does that when you get him down to that 75%, he will phase. And we need to avoid this red. You move out of that area. That area, so you will drain your action points. It did it to my lion. Just move between the lions. It's not that hard. This is just the dragon breathing lightning over us. And there we go. The dragon should fly back down. As a DPS, you don't want to really stay right behind him. Since he will spin his tail and make you go flying like Leah there. You can just move out of that red there. No need to take his breath. And this you can block with your shield or dodge to not get pushed back too much. And otherwise he doesn't deal too much damage whatsoever. So that's not going to be a problem. And this time we need to kill Valindra ASAP. He's draining that DPS there. Just deal enough damage and she will get out of there. There we go. No need to take that breath weapon to the face even as the tank. And he flies off again this time at that... 25% HP mark and you're gonna have the same red this time it'll last a bit longer so just keep moving either side dragon appears back and we just have to kill him off kill Valindra again just here but we kill the boss so that's it GG Manager Box Castle is not too hard. The only trouble you're going to have is with those ads in between the bosses. You might have a little bit of trouble with the first and the second boss with all those ads as well. Now you will have, with regards to rewards, you get this free chest here, which you can re-roll for any of those premium rewards. And otherwise you have this chest here, which you'll need a Manabog Castle key. Since they've gone and removed the Sharandar campaign, the old one where you could grind the key, you can now simply go to the wondrous bazaar go to adventuring and just purchase as many of those manabog keys as you want they will cost you astral diamonds you might not make it back with these chests to be honest you ideally want rerolls so like right here i did make it back 5,000 astral diamonds i'll take it why not so with that hopefully this has been somewhat insightful and helpful to you guys this manabog's castle either the reapers challenge or the normal version the only difference is a bit of damage and those extra conditions with the reapers challenge of no consumables no health regen and no mount combat powers again i'd like to give a massive thank you to all of my channel members for helping me keep my channel going and if i presented this well consider leaving the video a like and if you're new around here consider subscribing we'll see you guys around goodbye for now